Hi guys, it's Sherry. I'm back. This is my new hair. This is called Flirt. I had her for a while. She was sitting on top of my closet. I totally forgot that I had her. And so I thought I'd pull her out uh, just to give her a little whirl. And uh, I still have to trim her and uh, do a lot. But uh, I just thought I'd go ahead and just throw this on my head real quick. I'm waiting for the repairman to come and fix our oven. Our bottom oven went out just before Thanksgiving. So he was supposed to be here between 11 and 3. Here it is, 2.30. So what better way to make them hurry up and get here? Start a video. So hopefully he'll show up and I'll have to end the video. The purpose of this video is because I have been challenged to show it's in my pencil case by Corey from the administrator of the Fobonichi, Fobonichi group on YouTube. I'm a few weeks late, uh, but better late than never. I have several agenda books, planners, Fobonichi, Sherry Nichis, medical journals, um, my daily devotion, my Bible study. I have so many different planner and agenda books that I use, and I am a firm believer, just like many of you, each of your books are going to have their own pencil case. So I have more than one pencil case that I refer to that I use on a daily basis. And I just don't want to, you know, use a lot of time going, where's that pen? Where's this pencil? Where's that marker? So each book that I use for whatever purpose has its own pencil case. So I'm going to go through just a couple of them that I have right now. This the, We'll start off with this one. This was the travel case that uh, Corey sent me in the very beginning when she and I first met, and I just love this. And a lot of you already have this, and I did uh, previously show what was inside of here in another video a while ago, but I'll just go through this really quick. And like I said, I'm a firm believer of each planner book or whatever it is that I'm working on has its own supplies. And so in my travel case, when we go out of town, this goes in the front with me. And it has its own pens and pencils, eraser, highlighters, markers, correct tape, scissors, uh, 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 sticky tape, post-it notes, uh, paper clips, page binders, or and things like that. And it and its own little case. And so with this being green, I try to stay with the green uh, theme with this, all except for this little red. Um, you know, uh, clip for the pen, not a big deal, but this is the one pencil case uh, that I use for when we travel. And so we start with that. And then as many of you know, I'm on the radio. And so I have an entertainment planner that I use an entertainment book. And in that particular book, let me see which pouch did I put it in because I just broke this up. Okay. This has my washi tapes in this one. And yeah, that has my washi tapes and correct tape and all that stuff. And I believe this pouch might have my snacks in it. Uh, feels like my snacks are in here. Yeah, my snacks are in that one. But where's my pencil case? Hmm. Um, hold on. Let me see. I think I, oops, I did. I, I incorporated my washi tape and my scissors and my runner tape and this little pouch here for my entertainment book. So here are the pens that I use for that. And this is a, from Cecilia in Singapore. This is a bear shaped crayon pen that I have in there. This is my four in one pen. It has red, black, and blue and pencil in this. And then I have some fold away scissors that go in here. And so this is normally a cosmetic case that would hang up but I just incorporate it as my pen case and everything. And I have some washi tape in there and I have my S shape notepad that was sent to me in a rack and I have another tape runner in there. So that stays in my travel case for my um, entertainment journal tote that I take back and forth to the radio station when I am scheduled to do my show. And so that's in my Nicole Miller tote bag that I did a video on that uh, not too long ago. So my next one is my uh, my day timer daily journal that I have in my Orla Kylie which I have finally moved in completely and I do like it. I was kind of on the fence with it and everything and so I finally moved in completely. So as you can see how big and how filled out it is. So let me go ahead and open her and show you the pins. 
that I am using and this. Okay, I like I said, I did a video on this already not too long ago, so let me open it up for you so you can see. The pens and everything are on, it's in this little uh, pocket right here in the middle, which is normally used for makeup brushes because this is a cosmetic case, but all my pens that I use are in here. And all I have in here are uh, the oil-based markers from Daiso that you can write on washi tape, so I have various colors of those. I have a couple of my Papermate Pilot pens in different colors in here as well. I also have a multi-color Hello Kitty pen that was given to me uh, by many of you um, that has six different colors in there, which I love, by the way. And then I also have a mechanical pencil in here, okay? And then I also have a correct pen. It's a correcting pen. And I have just one yellow highlighter in here. Okay, and then last but not least, I have some Crayola uh, crayon markers that Corey sent me in a rack in one of my very first racks that she sent me, and I have those in here as well. I also have with my day timer planner, I have another Hello Kitty multi pen in there. So those are the pens that I use on a daily basis in my day timer as I'm doing things in that book. Then in my Sherry Nietzsche tote, as you've seen a video on this already, this is my Sherry Nietzsche tote. I have various pencil cases, pen cases in here that look like this. Let me pull them out. And the one case has this is the one case that has a multi variety of pens inside of here. I won't go through all of them because there's just so many. I have some gel pens. I have some Hello Kitty uh, mechanical pencils in here as well. I have another Hello Kitty 12 multi pen pen. And what else do I have in here? Oh, and I have one of the clickable erasers. Oops, I got it upside down. At least I think I do. Yeah, the the uh, um, expandable erasers from back in the day. So that's the one pen case that I have in my Sherry Nietzsche tote. My next one, I have another case, pen case, that I keep some washi tape and some craft post-it notes in there. And these are just the leftover gel pens that did not fit in that other case that I just showed you. So I just have a few leftover pens in here. And because I do go through these pens and they, I run out of ink a lot. I also have my Hello Kitty pouch that was made and sent to me from Hoodlums Times 4. And inside this Hello Kitty pouch, I have some more Hello Kitty pens and pencils. And I especially love the one where she gave me the reflecting um, hologram of Hello Kitty. We call it the kitty, the kitty signal. I use it in the house here upstairs and my husband sees it flashing on the wall from downstairs. He knows that means I, I ran out of water. So would you bring me a glass of ice water? Isn't that cool? So I'm going to put all my Hello Kitty pens and pencils in here. I just haven't done that yet. Another case that I use inside my Sherry Nietzsche is a set of roller gel pens that a girlfriend of mine gave me for my birthday and she purchased these from papaya and uh, papyrus and uh, these are some amazing gel pens and so let me just show you these real quick uh, they're jelly roll metallic uh, pens and they're just beautiful they they're very smooth and writing the colors are very vibrant and I use these very sparingly um, because I just don't want to run out because they're just, look at these colors. They're just amazing, just amazing. They feel good in your hands. The rainbow of colors is just unbelievable. So those of you that have a papyrus next to you, it's kind of like the Hallmark. Um, that, that's where she purchased those, those Jelly Roll pens. And then last but not least, 
This pencil case that I have in my Sherry Tote has the uh, colored pencils that I purchased from, I believe, Staples a while ago, as well as another correct pen in here. And so I just have the various um, colored pencils, okay? So all that stays in my Sherry Nietzsche because I do a lot in my Sherry Nietzsche. And... Um, Sometimes I'm going to use my color pencils. Sometimes I use the jelly roll pens and, um, and, and, and things like that. So, and then in my Hello Kitty pencil case that I have housed in my Sherry Nietzsche tote as well, it's just some more backup things. I have a, um, just a few backup things. I have another one of the, uh, uh, erasers, uh, retractable erasers. I have a Hello Kitty uh, crayon pen that uh, Cecilia from Singapore sent me. I have a backup of the Smashbook pen with glue. And then I have another backup of a Hello Kitty uh, uh, mechanical pencil as well. So that stays in there too. So at least that way, if I ever just want to grab something just real quick, I don't want to carry a whole lot of everything. I do have something that I could just grab real quick and I know that I'm taking care of because it's all covered in here. Then, so that, oh, and then on the side walls of my Sherry Nietzsche is just some more pins, just some more backups. As you can see, I have the oil-based markers that write on washi tape and then I have some more highlighters here. I have another multi-purpose pen right here and, um, and some more highlighters. So, and I believe these are the, um, yeah, these are the scented highlighters. Like this one smells like grape. I have one that smells like strawberry. Another one smells like orange. And another one that smells like lemon. And I think I have one that smells like lime. So that's what's on the outside pocket of my Sherry Nietzsche tote. Now, the big daddy of all of that, which you would think would be my Sherry Nietzsche, is my complete backup of pens. And that will be this. This is a carry tote from um, the line of 31 something. Has the mesh pocket on the outside. And this is where I house all my, uh, what do you call them, Sharpie marker pens, uh, my Stettler pens, my Stettler uh, calligraphy pens, some more of my Paper Mate Pilot pens. Uh, what else do I have in here? I have some mini gel pens that are way down there that you can't see. And um, I have a couple of highlighters in here, a couple of uh, leftover uh, gel pens. Um, and this is just like, you know, when I'm scrapbooking, this pretty much stays in my scrapbooking room for when I'm making cards and things like that. All the other pen cases, pencil cases that I told you, those go with my different planners and agendas. But this big daddy stays here in my armoire uh, with all my other crafting supplies so that I always know that I can I have my own set of pens that stay here that does not go mixed in with the rest of my stuff unless I happen to run out of a certain pen and I know I have a backup or a couple of backup in here I will come and grab it out of here but other than that this never comes out of my armoire and everything else has its own and what you can't see here on my desk is just off to the right of my desk I have a turntable that has some hand, or some pens and pencils and markers and things like that for when I'm just jotting quick letters and things like that, that I just don't go into my armoire and I don't pull anything out of my planners. So I do have, you know, some backup pens. And then up here on my magnetic board, I have some multi-purpose pens and uh, pens that have lights on them. You know, I have lights on those just in case if I'm here and we lose power at night. I always have some sort of little flashlight here next to my desk. And these are dry erase board markers for uh, my husband's calendar that we keep here for his business and everything. So that is all of my pencil case, uh, what I have in my, my variety of pencil cases and uh, tote bags. So... I hope that answers a lot of your questions and everything and uh, leave me a comment down below or, you know, just let me know how you 
take care of your pencil cases and what you have in your pencil case. Thank you so much for your time and your efforts. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you at the next video. And as always, I want you to be blessed. Bye-bye now.